this tutorial we will learn how to react anything to music in Adobe After Effects. Here we have this still photo of a speaker and this music track. We want the middle of the speaker to react to the music. First, press Ctrl Command and D to duplicate the speaker layer. Let's rename it to speaker middle. In this layer, we will have only the middle of the speaker. Now with the speaker middle layer selected, select the ellipse tool. We'll create the mask so that in this layer we have only the middle part or the offer. While creating the mask, make sure you select the layer first and then create the mask. If the layer is not selected, then it will create a shape. When you draw the mask, hold shift and drag so that it will be a perfect circle. Also you can hold a spacebar to move the circle. Try to select it as close as possible. Now if I turn off the visibility of the bottom layer, then you can see here we have only the middle part of the speaker. The anchor point is in the middle of the screen, but we need it to place in the middle of the offer, otherwise this won't work. Now go to the top and hold Ctrl Command and double click the pen behind tool. It will place the anchor point in the middle of that particular layer. Now right click on the music layer and select keyframe assistant. Now click convert audio to keyframes. You will see a new layer is created. This layer is called Audio Amplitude. If we expand this layer and then expand FX, then you can see left, right and both channels are created with keyframes. You can use any of this channel's slider. Now select speaker middle layer and press S for scale. Hold Alt or Option and click the stopwatch icon to add an expression. Now without clicking anywhere, drag the pick whip to the slider layer. You will see an expression is added. This reacts to the music, but it's too small. We want it bigger to the actual size of the woofer, but not smaller when it reacts to the music. So we need to slightly modify the expression. At the end of the expression, add plus square bracket 100 comma 100 close bracket. This means both X and Y scale will be minimum 100 and maximum will be controlled by that slider. Now let's play it. You see the middle of the speaker reacts exactly the way we want it. So this is how you can react anything to music in After Effects. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. Like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thanks for watching.